Today we'll be comparing five of the most popular roof racks for the Toyota Tacoma. We have the Prince Sue Cab Rack, the Optop Overland Rack, Front Runner Slimline Sport, Rhino Pioneer Rack, and the ARB Base Rack. We want to determine which one will be the right fit for our giveaway truck and help you make a decision on which one is right for you. Do you want to win this truck back here? We'll be giving it away at the end of the year plus $15,000 cash. Every dollar you spend on our giveaway collection will automatically get you entered for a chance to win the truck plus the cash. The last day to get entered is December 31st. We'll make sure to put a link in the description below. Back to the roof racks. We'll be going over the following factors. Installation process, feature of each roof rack, accessories for each system, style, and price. If you want to skip through any of the topics we just mentioned, then make sure to use the chapter markers. Also note that you can find all the roof rack and accessories linked in the description below. So let's get started with the installation process. Installation for all five roof racks is straightforward and easy. Should not take you more than an hour to install. What's awesome about the Tacoma is that when installing any roof rack, you will not have to drill holes into the truck since our double cap Tacomas already come with pre-drill holes from the factory. For the Prince suit up top and front runner, the racks came disassembled where I had to build the rack from scratch and mount the entire rack to the roof of the Tacoma. All three racks come with a few pieces and because of this, installation is a breeze. In summary, all I had to do was mount the crossbars to the side rails and mount the assembled rack to the roof. Like Prince Sue, the Front Runner Slim Sport does not have separate mounting feet. They bend the side rails into the mounting feet and then take it a step further by adding a brace bracket for added strength. The crossbars on the Slim Sport come pre-drilled but with no threads. So make sure to take your time and don't rush through this step. Make sure to use a little bit of oil on the screw threads before inserting. Note that these are thread forming screws. Although mounting the Rhino rack was not difficult, I did notice that it had the most steps compared to the other racks. The build consisted of two parts, building the universal rack and then mounting it to the side rails after they had been installed on the Tacoma. For the ARB base rack, I appreciated that the rack already came pre-assembled. All I had to do was remove it from the box, add the wind deflector and accessories such as the light bar or wind diffuser before it got mounted to the side brackets. So far, this rack feels like the sturdiest rack of them all. I was surprised to see how the crossbars were welded on instead of being bolted on like the rest of the contenders. So far, this ARB base rack was the easiest to install. The part that was the most tedious of the installation process was drilling out the mounting holes on the two roof ditch molding strips for a clean install. When bolting down the roof rack brackets or side rails to your Tacoma, make sure to use your fingers to tighten the bolts first before using your power tool. That's a general idea of how the installation would go for each roof rack system. Now let's dive into what each roof rack has to offer. Let's start with the Prince Sue rack, which is one of the best looking racks in the market right now and why so many companies are mimicking its design. Prince Sue has been able to design a roof rack that completely changed the aesthetics of the Tacoma, giving it a slim tactical look that follows the truck lines. Not only does it look good, but its low profile allows for the roof rack to follow the windshield angles, making this roof rack extremely aerodynamic, reducing wind noise. Instead of bolting on mounting feet, they bent the mounting feet into the side rails, reducing flex throughout the roof rack and allowing the rack to remain lightweight. For the front diffuser, you have the option to mount a 40 inch light bar or the Baja Design LP4s. As far as customization goes, Prinsu has taken it up a notch and now allows us to choose the color of the shield, side plate and deflector colors. As far as mounting options, Prinsu does offer handles, max rack mounts, tie down rings and load panels, but is limited in comparison with the ARB Frontrunner and Rhino, which offer a much wider range of mounting accessories. As of the making of this video, the price on this roof rack is $730. The Optop Overland Bed Rack came into the market, bringing a completely new design to our industry. It's got an aggressive tactical design that you won't find anywhere else. And to be honest with you guys, I absolutely dig it. For the windscreen cutout, you have multiple options to choose from such as a standard 40 inch light bar and eight different Baja design cutout options. Optop has been known to have good quality 316 stainless steel hardware and is made out of aluminum, making it extremely lightweight. I appreciate the bungee cord system they provide around the entire rack. And apart from its incredible tactical design, they thought about hiding the wires extremely well throughout the entire rack. Similar to Prinsu, Optop offers handles, tent risers, pod mounts, and a few other options 
but is limited in comparison to the ARB Front Runner and Rhino Rack, which offer a much wider range of mounting accessories. I can't wait to see what mounts they come up with next, since Uptop is growing quickly and continues to release new products. As of the making of this video, the price on the Uptop Bravo is $729. Now let's talk about the Front Runner Rack. The Front Runner Rack is one of the most versatile and functional roof racks of them all offering the most amount of brackets and mounting options in the market. We had the option to choose from two racks, the Slim Sport and Slimline 2, both made out of T6 aluminum. To be honest with you guys, the Slimline 2, in my opinion, is the flagship of all the roof racks in our industry. Over the years, it has been awesome to see all the accessories that Frontrunner has created for the different hobbies that us Tacoma owners tend to participate in. Although it is one of the most versatile racks available, it does not have the same low profile design as some of the other racks. The good news is Frontrunner's new Slim Sport roof rack has a much lower profile design that flows with the lines of the truck and is just as versatile as the Slimline 2. The one thing I do wish the Slimline Sport had is the storage capacity to fit a table beneath the roof rack like the Slimline 2 has. But we can't have everything, right? I appreciate the easy access to the T-slots for quick fitment and removal of the accessories. And the exposed slats allow for easy loading and unloading from the sides. So now let's take a look at some of the mounting options we have for the front runner roof rack. First up is the Pro Stainless Steel Cam Table and Table Under Bracket that I just finished mentioning. Essentially, it's a very sturdy cam table that stows under the front runner slimline too. The table sits on the bracket that front runner provides with the kit and is locked with a table latch, reducing any rattle noise while driving and allowing us to take one less thing in the bed of our truck. The brackets may be installed so that the table pops out from the side or back of the roof rack. For us Tacoma owners, I think the side will be a better option. Then we have the ratcheting shovel bracket, which are brackets that install along the Slimline 2 side rails to accommodate most shovel sizes and is adjustable to fit gear ranging from half an inch to two inches in diameter. The best thing is, no drilling is required. Next, we have the Easy Out awning, quick and easy setup in under 60 seconds, allowing you to have shade wherever you set up camp. In order to mount the awning, we have front runners quick release brackets. And let me tell you, once these brackets are installed, there will be no additional tools needed to remove or refit the awning. Simply release the two latches and lift the awning away in a matter of seconds. It also works with all front runner awnings and other popular awning brands as well. Then we have the Wolfpack Pro, which is essentially a water and dust resistant storage solution. Versatile enough to use in the truck bed, you can put them in the back of your seats or attach them to your roof rack using the Wolfpack mounting brackets. For a padded storage solution, you can pair the Wolfpack Pro with a flat pack to protect any fragile items you might have. Next, we have the recovery device mounting kit that can be used to secure one to two pairs of Max Trax, Tread Pros, and any other popular brands of recovery boards that are out there. My favorite bracket of them all is the Pro Fork Mount by Carrier. I love to have the option to carry my mountain bike on the roof whenever I'm fully loaded and traveling on my 20 hour long drives. Just make sure you're not this guy. You might have to purchase through axle adapters in order to fit your fork style. I'll make sure to link this product in the description below. Then we even have something as simple as a bottle opener. Easy to install and comes in handy whenever you need to crack open a cool one. Next, we have the front runner tie down rings. These simple tie down rings quickly install to the front runner rack using the T-slots on the top, bottom and side rails. There's no tools necessary, simply tighten with your hands and that's it. Perfect for use with the front runner stratchet or any style tie down straps. The stratchet is an awesome add to any roof rack really. You can honestly fasten around just about anything. Adjustable from 22 inches to 63 inches with an additional eight inches when fully stretched. Then we have the rack handle brackets for easy access to gear on your truck. Second to last, we have another one of my favorites and that is the snowboard and fishing rod carrier. The snowboard and fishing rods are not only securely held in place, but it also includes a locking system to prevent any theft. And for the last accessory, we have the front runner slimline light bar, which sits flush with the rest of the roof rack, allowing longer items to still be loaded and extend past the front of the rack. The good news is that most of these brackets can be converted to work with various roof racks. It won't be as simple as mounting the brackets on a front runner, but altering the hardware and making a few small tweaks would work. The front runner slim sport roof rack costs $695 as of the recording of this video and their flagship slimline 2 costs $1,035. Moving on to the Rhino rack, it comes with a universal base that mounts to the Toyota Tacoma side rails, also known as the backbone. 
I was amazed by this rack's sturdiness and the size of the crossbars. Rhino Rack, like Front Runner, offers a variety of mounting and brackets for the roof rack, but not nearly as many. They offer everything from gas tanks and high lift jack brackets to weatherproof baggage that you can attach to your roof rack. Their attachment mechanism was similar to the Front Runner mounting system with rails in the crossbars. I enjoy when a product is unique in its design and stands out from the pack. Like the Optop Overland Bed Rack, the Rhino Rack also had a great system to hide all of your wiring for your lights. As of the making of this video, the price on this roof rack is $1,324. Last but not least, we have the ARB Base Rack, a complete game changer when it comes to mounting accessories to the rack. Instead of the brackets and mount using T-slots and rails to mount the accessories of the roof rack, they clamp onto the crossbars and sidebars. Since the items you have mounted on your rack don't share rails, it eliminates the need to remove an item from the roof rack in order to fit another. ARB also has a vast amount of brackets and mounts for the rack system, similar to the options from Front Runner. A few of the options they have are the ARB base rack high lift jack holder. There are many high lift mounts available that will securely keep it in place. The difficulty comes when needing to remove the high lift. It is one of the fastest methods to mount your high lift to your roof rack thanks to its rapid release mechanism. Then we have the ARB base rack roller kit. Loading long pieces of lumber and any heavy objects such as kayaks might be difficult when you're on your own, but adding a roller allows your equipment to slide into the rack ready for you to secure and get on your way. Next, we have the ARB jerry count mount, which allows for two jerry cans to mount to your base rack. ARB has even given us the option to choose from your horizontal and vertical mounting options. This mount does come clutch when going on a long adventure, and I sure wish I had this out on the Pony Express. And finally, the last accessory we want to go over is the Base Rack Slimline LED light bar, which is very low profile and has three mounting options, above, in front of, and below the roof rack. Apart from all their mounting solutions, ARB also gives us the option to choose from the different guardrails, like the full guardrail, which gives your truck that retro look and acts as an extra level of security in case anything gets loose during travel. Then we have the guardrail front three quarter, which assists with easy rear loading of large and awkward items, which still provide load security at the front of the rack. Additionally, they also have the front base rack quarter guardrails. This is great for campers while still providing load security at the front of the rack. And finally, we have the guardrail trade, which is great for loading long items such as timber and ladders while having security on the side of your rack. As of the making of this video, the price on this roof rack without the guardrails or accessories is $895. We have officially gone through all five roof racks and they're all great options, but which one is right for you? You honestly can't go wrong with any of these options and choosing the correct rack will depend on what you want to use the rack for. If looks is what you're going for and mounting options are not a top priority, then I would recommend that you go with the Prince suit or up top Overland bed rack. In my opinion, these two racks are currently the best looking racks that are out there. If you're looking for functionality and plan to use your roof rack to haul all of your gear, then you can't go wrong with the Front Runner, ARB, and Rhino Rack. When choosing between these three, it really comes down to looks, price, and making sure they have the right mounts for you. If you still have any questions after watching this video, please email us. We would be happy to go more in depth and help you out in any way we can. So, which roof rack are we choosing for our giveaway truck? I have to be honest with you guys, this was not an easy decision to make. After analyzing all of the five roof racks and considering price, style, and versatility of each system, we decided to go with the Front Runner Slimline Sport. Not only is it the most budget-friendly option in our list, but it looks great, it's sturdy, and has every mount anyone could ask for. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to smash that like button. If you have not already done so, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit that notification bell icon so you don't miss out on anything. And I'll see you guys in the next video.